ਮੇਰਾ ਨਾਮ ਰਵਿੰਦਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਹੈ ਜ਼ਿਲ੍ਹਾ ਹੁਸ਼ਿਆਰਪੁਰ ਹੈ ਸਟੇਟ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਮੇਰੇ ਫੰਗਲ ਇਨਫੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਹੋ ਗਈ ਥੀ ਪਹਿਲੇ ਤੋਂ ਉਹ ਦੰਤੋਂ ਪੇ ਉੱਪਰ ਵਾਲੇ ਪੇ ਉਨਸੇ ਹੋਤੀ ਹੋਈ ਇਹ ਸਾਰੇ ਜੀਗੋਮੈਟਿਕ ਬੋਨ ਪੇ ਆ ਗਈ ਜੇ ਸਾਰੀ ਇਨਫੈਕਟਡ ਹੋ ਗਈ ਥੀ ਹੀ ਕੇਮ ਟੂ ਡਿਪਾਰਟਮੈਂਟ ਆਫ ਓਰਲ ਮੈਕਸਿਲੋ ਫੇਸ਼ੀਅਲ ਸਰਜਰੀ ਓਰਲ ਹੈਲਥ ਸਾਇੰਸਸ ਸੈਂਟਰ ਪੀਜੀਆਈ ਚੰਡੀਗੜ੍ਹ ਐਂਡ ਹਿਸ ਕੰਪਲੇਂਟ ਐਟ ਦੈਟ ਪੁਆਇੰਟ ਆਫ ਟਾਈਮ ਵਾਸ ਥੈਟ देयर ਵਾਸ ਅ ਡਿਸਚਾਰਜ ਫਰਮ ਦ ਰਾਈਟ ਜ਼ਾਇਗੋਮੈਟਿਕ ਏਰੀਆ ਇਨ ਫਰ ਵਾਈਟਲ ਰੀਜਨ ਐਂਡ ਇਟ ਵਾਸ ਨਾਟ ਗੈਟਿੰਗ ਹੀਲਡ ਅ ਬਿਟ ਆਫ ਮੋਬਿਲਿਟੀ ਆਫ ਟੀਥ so going through uh, he was an a healthy young adult male and apparently no other comorbidities nothing uh, was there the fungal culture and uh, insensitivity report uh, confirmed that it is a case of mucor mycosis and at that point of time when uh, we evaluated his uh, both uh, bilaterally his maxilla maxillary sinus were involved maxillary palatine bone everything was involved and the right side uh, zygo, uh, zygomatic maxillary complex uh, was also involved including the lateral vital uh, uh, wall took the patient uh, for a surgical deprivement under ga and his maxilla all his maxillary teeth and necrotic maxillary bone were uh, removed but uh, the right uh, zygomatic uh, complex uh, and the lateral vital wall we could not uh, take care of th- that situation at that point of time because it would have compromised the uh, status of his right eyeball uh, personally i have never seen any such case where uh, uh, right zygomatic entire complex has been removed and the lateral vital uh, wall has been removed and where the eye is all right and it needs to be salvaged so uh, we had to find a solution where he being a young male he re- had recently got married he was very very much concerned about his aesthetics as well so we had to consider all these factors aesthetics that is the looks which the patient was concerned then we have to uh, see that the eye doesn't get damaged so we have to give and then uh, the fa- 3d structure of the face itself it has to be proper for a long term solution then uh, we started uh, looking for the options and uh, Uh, through uh, various other uh, departments of uh, chandigarh and other uh, researchers uh, we uh, finally uh, decided on coming uh, for uh, going for a 3d uh, titanium implant so finally it, it it was quite expensive for the patient which uh, uh, we got to know so and uh, the other departments as well as the oxim uh, private limited uh, they helped us out and they figured out how to prepare that implant this was like a challenge for us and we work with doctors scientists designers this patient was having complete osteomyelitic changes involving zygomatic complex lateral orbital wall orbital floor so we wanted to restore and give him per- perfect aesthetics so we thought of this 3d customized solution and which we got it done then we did the surgery we took a hemicoronal flap exposed the whole of the zygoma and through in orbital rim incision we exposed the orbital rim area and then we resected the whole damaged osteomyelitic part and then we replaced it with customized 3d implant any autogenous tissue would not have given perfect shape so that that's the advantage of being 3d customized implants it is gaining popularity because uh, first point is it's a patient specific implant so what you do is uh, according to the defect the implant is manufactured usually what we uh, what we had in market before was conventional implants with a specific design and shape then we had to adapt that plate and shape according to the patient or according to the defect now the plate has been manufactured according to the defect which which the uh, through which the data we sent to the company and the company makes exactly the same kind of implant which fits into that defect therefore most of the patients these kind of patients in the western world are treated by psi they are not using the conventional plates anymore the point is uh, psi is being used uh, uh, very frequently in the western world i was in germany recently two months back and uh, on a daily basis or a weekly basis they are putting up psi but the difference is uh, most of the things are either insurance uh, covered there or by funded by the government the situation is not exactly the same in india the patient has to bear the cost of the implant that is where uh, i think innovation comes in and uh, as uh, with the coordination of csio and oxim company we manufactured this thing and we had put it today and quality wise and uh, everything is at par with the uh, western counterpart which we get there the same thing which uh, if we had planned to bring it from 
buy from that would have cost around 6.5 lakh rupees from the patient's pocket. So practically it's not possible in India that every patient would pay this much of amount. So this is something which would change the course of the 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 way these patients are treated. तो ये implant के बारे में हमने पता किया था काफी जगह से तो ये काफी costly था और finally doctor ने तो ये पता किया कि oxygen company से जहाँ पे उन्होंने वहाँ पे भी काफी महंगा था फिर भी उन्होंने मेरे मेरे afford से बाहर था लेकिन उन्होंने provide करवाया मुझे doctor की मदद से बिना किसी cost अभी तो four to five month हो गया surgery को सर्जरी के बाद काफ़ी अच्छा रहा कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं आई और इम्प्लांट भी काफ़ी अच्छा दिख रहा है कुछ पता नहीं लग रहा है इसका और पता नहीं चल रहा है इम्प्लांट का अब किया हुआ है या इतना नहीं किया हुआ और मैं थैंकफुल हूँ पीजीआई और ऑक्सीजन कंपनी का जिन्होंने मुझे इम्प्लांट प्रोवाइड किया मुझे लगता है कि और भी जैसे मुझे प्रॉब्लम थी और भी काफ़ी लोगों को होगी वो भी इससे फ़ायदा उठा सकते हैं मेरी तरफ से थैंक्स पी एंड थैंक्स ऑक्सीजन कंपनी ऑक्सीजन इज़ प्राउड टू मेक एन इम्पैक्ट इन समबडीज़ लाइफ